Hi Aries, welcome to your daily video. I hope you guys are doing great. So what's going on in the astrology? So retrograding planets are Pluto retrograde, Saturn retrograde, with Saturn at a 40 year return to Aquarius. So that's in the house of your social life or your network. So a lot of people are going through things where this is like 40 years ago, you went through a, the same or a similar situation. But if you're not quite that old, um, it can just be about things that are karmic or lessons that you need to learn. Um, things that were unfinished, needing to be finished. So Saturn um, in retrograde is squared off to Uranus and Taurus. There, Uranus and Taurus is about being an innovator, doing things differently than other people. Saturn retrograde squared off to that in the house of your social life could be something about resistance to going against the norm there's some resistance from your friends family um, people around you neighbors to doing things differently than they are um, so you could just be experiencing any kind of resistance with that the sun which is the most masculine energy it gives us life and growth is a solar return to Leo and we're approaching Leo or uh, Lionsgate on August 8th um, so that's when Sirius A the second sun will align with Earth in such a way where it's very very powerful and right now the sun is squared off to Mars it's also squared off to Uranus so the sun is the most powerful it wants you to be brave. It wants you to have confidence in yourself. And we have Leo rising right now. Um, so be confident, be brave. Don't be afraid to, you know, do your own thing or be different. Um, now we have the moon return to cancer as well. Very emotional, very sensitive. And the moon is squared to Jupiter retrograde in Aries so the moon is kind of emotional it is sort of a watery energy um, it's a water sign rules over a water sign and so Jupiter retrograde I'm sorry Jupiter's not retrograde yet Jupiter is in Aries um, this can be you know you can do great things for yourself you can have victories um, if you um, do things that are satisfying your soul and Venus here is a very good energy connected to Mars and also connecting to Uranus so actually it will make you feel better if you're true and authentic to yourself regardless of what other people could be saying with Saturn in retrograde squared off to Uranus it's almost like people are telling you or, you know, the group that you could be surrounded by, it doesn't matter who it is. It's something about no social norms squared off to innovation and independence, being different. Um, so being different is more favorable for you emotionally and it will bring you pleasure because you're being authentic. Now, for Aries, Chiron and retrograde, there can be wounds connected to this kind of an energy. There's a resistance to Venus and Cancer, um, Chiron and Aries, retrograde, wounds that haven't healed coming from your home life. Um, I hate to say it, but it could be like people that were supposed to be there for you were, are not there for you or are not acting like they're there for you right now because there's a square of Venus, which is pleasurable in the house of home, which is cancer, squared off to the wounds that you went through or that haven't healed. So there can be um, a tendency to want to pick a scab and sort of reopen a wound with someone, friend, family, neighbor, or someone who you considered like a close friend, because you want to you, you're trying to heal something. Um, it might not be the best idea when there's a square, a 90 degree angle between, it's not harmonious. It's not 
pleasurable to do that. So don't pick the scab just to keep yourself, you know, to try to find some kind of um, closure, I guess. Just let it be, wait, I would wait a little bit. Um, don't do it today. <laughs> now this could be the way you would try to pick the scab would be Mercury and Leo through a confrontation talking. Let's talk about the past and how you hurt me and... You know, I don't think it's a good energy to get into those conversations because you're going to feel this desire to get closure or heal. Um, also, Neptune here is sextiled to Pluto retrograde. Neptune is the things we fantasize about in our mind, in our, sec in our subconscious mind. And it's harmonious with Pluto destruction and transformation. So you're thinking, well, if I contact this person and let them know, you know, you have this sort of idea in your mind of how it'll play out, probably it won't. So I would just say leave it alone. <laughs> um, so just be confident in yourself. Like if you can find a way to just be confident in yourself, they say things like mother yourself or parent self-parent. That's a good way because Neptune in Pisces, you'll start to think of all the ways that it could have been perfected or it could be the fantasy that you always wanted, the home life or the marriage that you always wanted. But when it's connecting in with the destructive energy of Pluto, it could even be the job you've always wanted. It's anything that's a fantasy. It's not real. Um, it could be positive, like it could be, I'm going to create my dream life now because Jupiter and Neptune are connected. So you could try to connect your, or make your dream life happen, not through opening up an old wound to someone in your, in your home life or someone at home with you. Um, Neptune to Pluto will be pretty destructive. So it's not a good time for, you know, re-examining or discussing things. I've even like thought, you know, you're dis I've had conversations where I'm like, we're talking about something that doesn't even exist or hasn't happened. It's like where you're like planning an emergency response kit for your home and you're putting everything together if for something that hasn't even happened, but you're creating this whole kit. <laughs> for something that hasn't happened and you're doing it out of, um, you know, possibly there was a disaster before like a hurricane or something. And so, you know, that would be the Chiron aspect, you know, what the wounds are, you know, what you could go through. So you're creating this plan for something though, that essentially with Neptune is in your mind and hasn't happened yet. So if there's a way to just sort of Put yourself forward like with confidence, but at the same time sort of stay grounded in what's real because the moon in Cancer will make you feel very connected. Your emotions are very connected to safety. It's like, I want to feel safe. I want to feel safe at home. Um, but this is connected to also Uranus and Taurus doing things differently from other people. And when you do things differently from other people, you could feel judged or you are being judged. It's not that you feel like you're being judged. You are being judged. You know, there's this multiple planet square going on. So today would be a good day to just do, be true to yourself, do what you want to do and don't care what other people think. Um, if you can find a way to have pleasure in the things that bring you comfort, you know, comfort at home or comfort locally because to me cancer is the like the home or close to home and the moon is connected to uranus so you can do something different as long as it's sort of like in your comfort in your comfort zone all right so let's see what we get for you aries you guys are amazing All right, let's see what's coming up for Aries in the Oracle card. This is called Spirit Animal Oracle. <laughs> so we got here the armadillo, set healthy boundaries. 
It's number three for change. Oh, I got the... I like this. Bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery. That looks like my cat. Very, very similar. Um, so, okay. Life is a mystery. Okay, angels and spirits. Okay, angels, spirits, guides. Messengers of the light, please show us here Aries, their daily message for the first house. Show us Aries, show us Aries. Okay, we've got an eight of water and the sun card. Okay, so there's something very positive, very happy, very joyful. This could be something illuminated, but nonetheless, it's really happy. The challenge is your feelings are wanting to go in another direction or wanting to do something else to make you feel complete. Emotions are strong. Okay. We have here a six of cups, nostalgia. Thinking about pleasurable times in the past. So, all right. Okay, the energy of the hermit. Could be spending time alone. Self-isolation. Turning inward. Doing soul work. Two of Earth, trying to maintain balance, trying to juggle or maintain balance in some kind of situation. Ooh, on your mind, let's see, or no, I'm sorry. So past energy is hermit. On your mind here is Two of Earth, maintaining balance, but you're moving forward quickly. You're taking immediate action. You're very determined and you have strong will. So that's the future, chariot forward. So moving forward, it's determined. So you're determined to do something here. It's brought in by an ace of the uh, Earth. So there's a new opportunity for something real that you can build upon. Okay, so what are you, what is going on? You've got a new offer that makes you feel like your challenge is the way you feel and wanting to leave or do something else. Four of Swords, finding rest, um, quieting the mind through peaceful, um, not talking to people, or there's some kind of energy of um, retreat, like you're not speaking to someone. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. What you're wanting is a two of cups. You're wanting a partnership based on shared feelings. You want to share feelings with someone. You get a messenger of the earth, you get this new message, or you get some kind of information from someone about this new opportunity. Um, you are ace of coin. So there's something here that's new. Um, a new seed developing. Someone here though is four of swords towards you. You want two of cups, you get a knight of the earth. Ooh, and you get an emperor, nice. So for some of you, this is a promotion. This is leveling up. Um, the challenge could be that someone else 
isn't sharing with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Someone else isn't sharing your excitement. They're not on the same page as you. So you're thinking about the times in the past when somebody was sort of on the same page as you. So you get the Emperor very, very strong. Um, very empowered energy. So it's, it's authority, power, and you're moving forward very fast. The willpower and the victory. So let's see one more here for Aries. Um, I got so many. I got 33. The horse, uh, freedom is yours. So there's something here about moving ahead because of the horse is like the chariot moving forward. All right, Aries. This is your daily reading. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching my channel and take care.